I hope you don't get anything stupid this time. Enough of the stupid. No more exorcistesses. <laughs> oh my god, what is this? Did you shop of horror? I don't know, I never watched that. It's a musical. The materials! Hello and welcome to my pajamas. I've been sitting here on the computer for the last hour drawing something on Corel because I wanted to screen print a fabric for the little shop of horrors. And I just threw all of the footage out and the project as well because it was not good. Say it nicely. But then I found here upstairs a lot of felt and more fabric. I didn't even know I had. So now I'm thinking, you know what I didn't do yet? A nice hat. Just a nice, interesting hat. Well, a little over the top, but a hat nonetheless. Let's do this, because I'm running out of ideas. The pot. I don't know how to start. I never made a hat before, but I wish to do it for a very long time, so I bought this official hat making whatever thing on eBay because I thought this is my head size. You have to understand I have a humongous head. What, what was I saying again? Oh yes, I have a humongous head. To find hats that fit me is almost impossible. I'm not joking. My head is 57 and a half centimeters all around. I bought this head thinking that it would be my size. But look at this, I'm still missing a lot. It, and it wasn't cheap either. I don't know what I was thinking, so I have to figure out now a way to pad this thing. So it really is my head. <sighs> oh. I have this beautiful brown that I wish to transform into the terracotta pot that will be the head in itself. So this is the bottom that will go on my head, like so. It fits me well. And the top of the terracotta... Wait, I need paper. Because it needs to be a frustum, as I learned before. My piece of paper is too small. So let's draft it directly on the felt. Things that you should not do at home, of course. Make it... Um, uh, da -da -da -da. Six inches. Oh, I have nothing to mark it. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. I can already see how good this will work out. If I cut it like this, it will be straight. It's not supposed to be straight. It's supposed to be like that. But I cannot remove these parts because otherwise it would not fit in my head. Let me sew this first. Maybe I'm overreacting as usual. I feel very fancy. This will be the terracotta part of the terracotta pot. Does that make sense? How did it end up smaller? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't accept that. You will be now bigger. How dare you? I think I'm ready to name this video my descent into madness and chaos. I need a radius of 12 centimeters. I lost my thingy. So let's do this the old way. It's hard to keep the same tension. When I'm doing the curve, is this okay? I think it's a circle. I will attach this to this in an attempt of making a border, a top border. Uh, this, this didn't work. I don't know. It has the... What? Wh why? I, I tell you that math is not my friend. I measured the wrong thing or it just hates me, but well, whatever. I will take it apart and I will do it again. Uh, mm hmm Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It fits my head at least. Just decided to insert some Rigeline into some very, um, to various, what's the name? Strategic places, so it doesn't cave in with the weight of the plant. I have to say, I am very impressed. It still looks very lopsided and handmade. It's a handmade pot, but I don't care. The plant. If only I had something round that I could use as a guide for Audrey's head. Hmm. So I refer to my steampunk Black Widow for the pattern. I cut it out of green fabric and added strips of two different fade colors to the scenes as a detail. Here is a snack with filling for the lips. Those luscious, beautiful lips from Miss Audrey. <laughs> to add some teeth to it, but I I like it. <laughs> Look at that. 
should have added the row of teeth here, but I forgot, so I have to improvise. So turns out the insides of her mouth are purple and not... Again, it's blue! It's not blue, it's purple! Ah! So I made this so I can attach the teeth with the teeth. Anyways, stuff it there. And the repaired. And now I have a, a tongue. This is Freddy Krueger fabric and I will attach the tongue to the thing. All of this needs to be sewn by hand. I also made some juicy tentacles or roots or I don't know what she has. I still don't know what she has. I think I will maybe need more, but I don't know yet. Leaves! This is one of the very worst moments in this house where Chili and Musty are laying together without tearing each other apart. Is it so cold that you can't stand each other for a change? Yes. Yes. They were very connected when they were babies, but then they grew apart and they don't lay together anymore. They do play a lot though. Aww. Hello. Looks like an unicorn exploded on my table. I made some leaves in different shapes, sizes and colors. This is the beautiful base for our plant. Sew and stuff it. There you go. And this is the substract where she will be planted. Or he. I still don't know what it is. Now I will sew this. Ta-da! It is installed. And it was a pain in the ass to do it. But now we can start assembling our beautiful beast here. Everything will need to be done by hand. Ugh. The assembly! This is the backing for Audrey. It's very colorful. I want everything to be very colorful. I don't know why. It is attached and it looks very wonky. Now this will be here. I think one professional hat maker should react to this. Professional hat maker reacts to the assassination of his craft supposed to stay here where you are yay <laughs> yay now i will put her together so i can attach her to this part and we to fall forwards for sure but i have workarounds of course the little shop of horrors a movie i never watched before and i didn't even know existed until this year so simmer works in a flower shop that has almost no clients anymore and there is this girl called audrey that also works there and he is in love with her but doesn't say anything one day he's walking down the street and he goes to this other flower shop to see if there is anything new but there isn't so he leaves and there is a lightning and suddenly this weird looking plant appears out of nowhere so he buys the plant brings it to the shop and his boss is very interested in it they put it on the front window and suddenly people start coming in to see the odd plant and they even start buying stuff as well so the shop is saved yay ah i forgot simmer names the plant audrey too as an homage to his loved one but kind of makes it sound less creepy than it actually is the plant starts dying because it hasn't eaten until simmer cuts his finger or something and the plant kind of motions that it wants to eat the blood so he finally finds out what the plant actually eats simmer keeps feeding it with his own blood until he's almost dry and the plant starts growing really fast and even starts talking meanwhile audrey is dating this psychopath dentist that is really violent and sadistic and Seymour sees him hitting Audrey and decides to kill him to feed the plant. So he goes to the dentist's office to go through with his plan. The guy is addicted to laughing gas and comes up with this weird mask contraption to keep breathing it in while treating patients, but the mask malfunctions and he ends up dead. So of course, Seymour takes the opportunity to steal the dead body, cut it into pieces and feed them to the plant. The boss sees all that, threatens to tell the police and ends up eaten after some time. At this point, the plant is already out of control, gigantic and talking all the time, asking for more and more food. I don't remember if it ate anybody else, but in the end, Seymour and Audrey, who are a couple now, by the way, are planning on leaving everything behind to start over somewhere else, and the plan finds out about it, calls Audrey on the phone, and almost eats her. The plan now has babies growing out of its tentacles and starts talking to everyone about the evil world domination plans and how it's an alien that came during that storm. Chaos ensues, and Seymour ends up killing the plant. He and Audrey finally leave their suburban dream, and the camera cuts to the entrance of their garden, where there is a new Audrey growing. The end. I don't think I made this movie just but this is what I remember from it. Don't, don't, don't hate on me. Don't hate me. In the gut.
It's weird to have a hat that actually fits my head. I never had a hat that fits my head. The only problem is it's way too low and then it will fall like this. Yeah, this is perfect. Professional equipment. <laughs> I don't know what, what's happening. <laughs> no. I'm full with hair now. Go, puppy. Cannot go on like this. Feed me. Feed me, Nani. Feed me. <gasps> it. It is dead. Welcome to this talk show. I hit jackpot. 101 plant puns for us crazy plant ladies. How much room should you give fungi to grow? I don't know. As much room as possible. How do you fix a broken tomato? I don't know. With tomato paste. What did the grape say when it was crushed? I don't know. Nothing. But it let out a little wine. Ah! Why do trees have so many friends? I don't know. They branch out. Uh -huh. <laughs> It's not working. Why did the lettuce close its eyes? I have no idea. Because it saw the salad dressing. What did the watermelon say to the cantaloupe? I don't know. You are one in the melon. Why did the banana go to the doctor? Mm -mm. It wasn't peeling well. Why did the apricot ask a prune to dinner? I don't know. Because he couldn't find a date. What do you call a bee that can't make up its mind? I don't know. A maybe. How do trees get online? I don't know. They just log in. <sighs> Why are frogs so happy? I don't know. They eat whatever bugs them. When does a farmer dance? When he drops the beat. So tell me what happened today. Nani, I soiled myself. No! <laughs> okay, Bloomer. What? I'm sexy and I grow it. I... Mountains are just funny. They're hilarious. My leaf blower doesn't work. It just sucks. <laughs> I just need now an event to wear it outside because there is nothing. I love you so much. Feed me, feed me, give me them foods, yum, yum, yum. Feed me, feed me, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. Feed me. No. No, no. Feed me. No. I am so hungry. No. Hungry. I don't care. Feed me, feed me. All my plants would complain like this. I would throw them out, all out. Hungry.